Okay, uh, welcome to Geotechnical Engineering Design. This is uh, Foundation Problems. And this is lesson nine of this uh, series of courses or series of videos where I am explaining uh, different problems in geotechnical engineering. <clears throat> so in this case, we are going to deal with um, a simple problem in, um, in uh, uh, related with foundation, basically. So we are going to have, uh, we, we need to check this foundation in terms of bearing capacity, the bearing capacity of the of this an drain clay with a specific weight or unit weight of 22 kN per, per cubic meter. So the layer of soil under the street footing is a clay and this clay have a, a, a strength a, a drain a strain of 65 kN per square meter. And the situation is um, then we have this clay in there and we have on top of this uh, clay we have a fill and a concrete, and we are going to consider an average, an average uh, unit weight for both materials, including the wall as well, to calculate the self weight of this foundation in our in our analysis. We have a variable and favorable load of 100 kilonewton per meter, and we have uh, 200 kilonewton per meter of permanent and favorable work that comes from the building that is being founded by this uh, shallow foundation. The foundation is to a meter depth, a meter, a meter deep uh, from the ground level, and H is the height of the street foot in itself. So in order to, to solve this problem, the, the, the idea is to analyze the bearing capacity and the, the loads or the pressure that this street foot in is producing on the, on the soil in order to see if this uh, structure, this foundation is, is in good conditions. In the first place, because the soil uh, we are dealing with is a clay, we have to realize that the angle of internal friction is equal to zero because there is no any sand present. So as you know, the bearing capacity of, uh, for shallow foundations have a generic a general uh, expression, which is this one in here. So you have that the bearing capacity, which is a pressure, so uh, forces divided by a square, uh, a square meter, so as an area is equal to uh, cohesion times the coefficient nc, a dimensional, plus gamma, which is the unit weight of the soil, multiplied by d, which is the depth in here, multiplied by the coefficient nq, a dimensional, plus half of gamma again times b, which is the width of the strip, and multiplied by a coefficient n gamma. But the last, the last um, term of this equation is related with sun, so we are going to eliminate this, uh, this term because in this case, uh, the angle of internal friction is equal to zero and become this uh, coefficient equal to zero as well. So um, the formula we're going to use is the simple formula of two terms that were intervene the cohesion and the value of the depth where we found the, the strip. And the next step is to identify the coefficient uh, of reduction of the shear strength SU that is equal to 140. This is necessary because we are going to determine the cohesion in this exercise using the uh, undrained shear strength. So the undrained shear strength will be equal to the, uh, um, to basically the um, undrained shear strength divided by the coefficient 1.4 from the table of, from the Euro code for design approach one and combination two. So the result will be that the cohesion is equal to 46 kilonewton per square meter. And we got the cohesion for our problem. Remember that we are calculating the bearing capacity of the soil in here. So the bearing capacity is the capacity of the soil to take and spread loads from the foundation. So, um, what else? Okay, um, for an undrained clay, and if we follow the advices from the Eurocode 7, the Eurocode 7 say that in this case, the coefficient NC is equal to 2 plus pi, which is 5.14, and the coefficient NQ is equal to 1. So after that, we need to take in consideration that we have two loads in here. One of them is a variable load and the other is a permanent load. So if we check for the second column, which is the column um, for the design approach one and combination two, we see that, that for permanent and favorable action, we have a coefficient relaxation coefficient equal to one. So we don't need to change anything regarding the permanent load. And we have a variable and favorable action coefficient 1.3. So we need to uh, multiply the variable load by 1.3 because we are increasing the load in order to be safer. So adopting the design approach one and combination two, 
and the recommendation of the Euro code. So we keep the permanent load to uh, as 200 kN per square meter, and the new modified variable load will be 1.3 times the original load, which is 130 kN per square meter. And these are the loads coming from the building. So the equilibrium, the equilibrium we're going to check in here, or the, uh, the calculation we're going to do is this one uh, that is shown in the screen. So we are going to compare the external loads from the building, variable and permanent, plus the self-way of the foundation against the bearing capacity that will have a resultant in the middle of this UDL in red you can see on the screen. But the value of Q in kilonewtons per square meter is equal then to 46 visit the cohesion times the NC which is the coefficient for this first term is 5.14 and the second term is uh, the gamma, it is to say the unit weight of the clay, which is 22, multiplied by uh, the depth, which is one meter, and multiplied by um, the coefficient in Q that is equal to one. So operating, we found that the bearing capacity of this uh, soil is 258 kilonewton per square meter. So if we multiply this 258 kN per square meter by 1.6 meter, we are going to have the resultant in red in here, which is the uh, force, the capacity force that the soil is able to provide. In terms of the loads, you have the cell weight. The weight is equal to one meter, which is the depth, multiplied by 20, which is the average, uh, the average um, unit weight, multiplied by B, which is 1.6, so 20 times 1.6 at the end is equal to 32 kilonewton per meter is the self weight of the foundation. And the total action will be then the permanent load, which is 200, the self weight, which is 32, and the variable weight affected by the coefficient of 1.3 from the Euro code, 130. And this is the total, the total load, the total external load that include then the self weight, the permanent load, and the variable loads of the structure. So, after that, what we need to do, this is what I, I mentioned before. So capacity will be Q multiplied by B, which is 258 kilonewtons uh, per, per square meter multiplied by 1.6 meter, which is the resultant in red RD. So this is the uh, force that the bearing capacity can produce in terms of capacity of the soil, 413 kilonewtons per meter, and the total load is 362 kilonewtons per meter. So, Comparing these two loads, we see clearly that the bearing capacity is greater than the total load that the foundation discharged on the soil. So this foundation is in good conditions. So um, we can say then that the street footing is in good condition because we have enough bearing capacity to take the loads coming from the building and the cell weight of the foundation. So this is was the this short video. Um, I hope everything was uh, well explained and understood. Thank you very much for watching.